Hi, this is Kimberly Knox. This is In the Kitchen with KK, where I'm going to be sharing with you healthy goodies and life enhancing tips to empower you to not only heal yourself and your family, but create healthier, sexier you. Because confidence and health from the inside out is glowing health. And that health can't be replaced with plastic surgery and stuff to put on your face. It has to come from the inside out and you get that from nutrient dense food and a healthy lifestyle. So I'm a complete lifestyle and health success coach. I've combined my whole background, corporate background, financial, entrepreneurial backgrounds, and a soon to be certified expert in integrative and holistic nutrition along with 25 years of passion with astrology to help you build self-knowledge, growth, and wisdom. Health is not just about the food that you put in your body. Of course, we want to have healthy, nutritious food, and we're going to be cooking today too, some amazing salmon recipes. But health is about your lifestyle, including healthy relationships, removing toxic people and relationships from your life, uh, gaining, uh, spending time with your friends, the joy that you have with work and your career and how you're spending your time and spirituality and a whole host. It's a rounded, integrative approach to health. So we're talking about inflammation today. And we're going to be cooking a couple salmon recipes and showing you how easy it is to be cooking. If you have a gorgeous kitchen and you're not cooking, shame, shame, shame on you. Because when you're at home cooking, you know what's going in the food, and of course you know who's cooking it, and the love that you're putting into it. Food is energy, and you absorb that. You know what type of oils you're using. You know if you're using wild fish. You know, you know what's going into your food, and therefore into your body. And so if you can start cooking at home, doing even making smoothies, which are easy, and we'll be doing another one of those recipes, this is going to enhance your your just your health and lifestyle so much and you can get your children involved and excited about food and real food and you know food is about stocking in the kitchen with like amazing fruits and vegetables with color it's fabulous so here's the thing with inflammation the bad news all chronic disease is linked to inflammation it is the silent killer today why do you have weight gain? Why are you aging faster? Why are you getting sick? It's related to inflammation. And Dr. Barry Sears has done a lot of work with this, with his work with the zone diet. A lot of you may have heard that. But it's not really a diet that we're going to be talking about. This is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle of health. So back in 2011, there was a Nobel Prize that was won because they were finding out about the innate immune system that we have functions similar to that of plants and that there's chronic, chronic activation of inflammation and it's causing all of these problems. It's where it's below the perception of pain in the body and it just doesn't shut off and we're not quite aware of it. So what turns on this inflammation? Excess carbs and refined food. What's that? That's all the goodies that we like to junk out on. Uh, you know, all of the, the bag food, the processed food, the snack food, uh, anything that creates the sugar spikes. I mean, the, the, um, the insulin spikes from increased sugar. So all the sugar-related food, um, donuts, carbs, bagels, wheat bread, those are all refined, refined carbs. Saturated fats, the bad fats. What turn off inflammation or inflammation responses in the body? High omega-3s. That's why we're talking about salmon. So those fatty fish that they talk about, that's why it's good. Omega-3 sources. But there's a lot of other omega-3 sources that we're going to touch on. Uh, and, you know, you definitely need to have the antioxidants, the greens, the polyphenols, uh, the colored fruits and vegetables. This is important. Those are the high antioxidants. All chronic disease begins with cellular information. The problem is, and the sad thing is, is that these diseases will occur sometimes decades after that 
cellular damage has started. Okay, so what kind of diseases? Well, obesity, and that's running rampant today, primarily because of sugar increase and a whole host of other stuff. But we're feeding our fat cells today. We're overfed and we're starving because we're not having that nutrient-dense food. Once you start invading your body with more nutrients, it pushes out the bad and you're able to cleanse out some of the toxins and then start your body in a regular weight process. Type 2 diabetes, heart disease, huge sugar is more responsible than heart disease than anything. Cancer, Alzheimer's, asthma, allergies. So how? How are we going to go from this chronic inflammation to a state of wellness? No drugs can do this, they're finding out. They, they can't. It makes it worse. It doesn't get to the root of the problem. And that's what our brilliant functional and, and integrated physicians are concentrating on today. And thank goodness, right? Because this is what we need. Only food can reduce the cellular information in all of our cells. So that's the good news because we can control it. We can take responsibility and you can empower yourself to have more responsibility for your health just by changing the foods that you're putting into your body. And believe me, they're quite yummy and it's super easy. You don't have to be a genius in the kitchen. You don't have to be a chef making something all like really complicated because whole foods are not complicated. 2,500 years ago, Hippocrates, brilliant. You're going to hear me talk about him a lot and he's brought up a lot. He's the father of modern medicine, as they say. But listen, they had it right back then. So what's going on now? Food, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. This is the great part here. So this is all similar to the Mediterranean diet and you've heard that, which primarily the Mediterranean diet, fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, and really good high quality oils such as extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, you can tell it's really good, I hear, from the people that do the sampling in Italy. When you take a spoonful, just have a spoonful of olive oil. It's amazing for you. If you get that peppery feel in the back of your throat, that's the good stuff. And you know it's the good stuff. So fish oil in high doses will reduce all disease um, you know, causes, it, getting help to reduce all disease, but it also speeds up the resolution process in the body of this inflammation that's going on because there's sensors going on. The, you know, our immune sensors are going off. So we have to control that. Omega-3, so how much do you need? It's, look, I wasn't taking enough. I needed to be educated. We need just two, we need 2.5 grams a day just for wellness. But chronic pain, chronic inflammation, disease, you need 7.5 to 10 grams a day doses to help bring this down. Cod liver oil, just one tablespoon. Maybe you heard your grandparents talk about this, your grandma, 2.5 grams. Okay, so the best cod liver oil from my research, and I buy this, Arctic cod liver oil, you keep it in the refrigerator. So uh, here you've got... Uh, 1050 milligrams per one teaspoon. So if you, there's three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So you, uh, you mark this down. So it's about three grams per tablespoon. That's a, that's a large amount and that's very good. What are some other really sneaky ways that you've probably never heard of? And these are things that have been used for centuries, seriously, okay? Here's the thing. Hemp hearts. Have you heard of hemp? A lot of people have, right? So they're using it in many ways. These are the hearts, hemp hearts. You, I found out that you need to store them in the refrigerator in a sealed container. Okay, so I'll have to be storing these in the refrigerator now. But hemp, hemp hearts are so dense, dense in protein. 33% of it is protein and 9% of that is omega-3s. Hallelujah, because you can put these in your smoothies. It's super, you can't even taste them. I mean, so you can hide a lot of this stuff from your kids. If they think that it's a little weird, don't worry. And um, they have really great uh, chocolate, chocolate uh, co cacao flavored um, hemp protein today. Really great plant sources of protein, okay? Chia seeds. All right, 
we all knew about the chia pets. When was that? In the 70s and 80s. But chia seeds are amazing. Two tablespoons equal 11 grams of fiber. We need the fiber, okay? So chia seeds have a tons and tons of really great things going on with them to help you with uh, feeling satiated, uh, soluble fiber to help remove toxins and keep your, your body moving. Four grams of protein uh, and a lot of fats, five grams of omega-3s. Okay, chia seeds are awesome too. You want to put those in smoothies so you can hide all this really cool stuff in, in different foods. Flax seeds. Okay, so come over here to my flax seeds. All right, so the Red Hill brand of flax seeds are awesome. And um, I have this little grinder here. And this is actually the best way to get your flax seeds is just to grind them up in a coffee grinder like this. Super easy. And then you have, whoops. <laughs> and then you have, uh, then you have all grounded up flax seeds. So, uh, Julia Child and I were born on the same day, and she used to just laugh. Okay, don't be afraid of being in the kitchen because you can't destroy anything, really, uh, unless you're, you know, you're really terrible about burning things, but hopefully someone will let you know. <laughs> but you just got to create, and it's really, really fun. Bee pollen. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Going back to flaxseed, two tablespoons, about 2.5 grams, fiber, protein. Again, fiber and protein in all these as well. Um, so flaxseed, you can take flaxseed oil as well as a supplement, but the flaxseed themselves, uh, when they're grounded up much, you know, really, really good. Now, where's my bee pollen? Because bee pollen is awesome. It's over here. Okay. If you Google bee pollen, you're just going to be so amazed because one serving takes a bee working. Well, I don't know what the bees working hours are, <laughs> but they work really hard all day long, one month, just to get one serving, which I believe is a teaspoon of bee pollen. This is something else you can put in your smoothies. And then you're talking, you're talking really, really high nutrient level. There's lots of things about bee pollen. It helps you flush out fats from the body, high in protein. One teaspoon equals 2.5 billion pollen grams. Okay, really amazing. I'm loving my bee pollen. Dr. Andrew Weil, another integrative physician and author that has done amazing work to, to help really build wellness and health. All disease of aging, again, <clears throat> related to inflammation. So again, mostly they're looking out. Mostly fruits and vegetables, occasional meat, cold-pressed olive oil. What does this sound like? More of a Mediterranean style of diet. Okay, so it's not, this is a lifestyle of eating whole good foods, not going to the snack cabinet to get foods where you're just increasing calories, high, you know, raising up your inflammation with no real nutrient value. So stop eating the refined, processed, manufactured food because it's not real. It's not real. And what does it do? It starts to interact badly with our body's genes and it's causing that. So disease starts many years before we actually get the symptoms at the cellular level, the inside of the cell, the mitochondria. We need to protect our cells. This stuff you can't see, but it's happening. So ask your question, what if 46% of all American hospitals have fast food restaurants? Yeah, I really like to know that. My girlfriend was having um, chemotherapy. In the chemo room, they were serving donuts. Ask your question there, because sugar makes cancer cells go crazy, like you're putting gasoline on a fire. So that just doesn't make sense. Again, Hippocrates understood that not only is food the medicine for the body, but that all disease begins in the gut. The gut inflammation is immune response to foreign invaders, to toxins and cellular injury. But when it doesn't shut off, we have chronic inflammation and we are walking around with it. 
many of us, chronic inflammation. So there's other physicians that I really, really love, Dr. Derek De Silva, Frank Lippman, Susan Blum. Susan Blum is a young go-getter. Functional physicians, they're focusing on gut health. In New York City, <clears throat> her practice, they actually have a, um, they have health coaches there. They also have a kitchen, they have a chef to teach you how to eat better and heal your body and what these, you know, the new lifestyle and eating is about. And when these doctors are seeing people, typically they'll find that about 98% of the people who don't already have awareness of, uh, you know, inflammation, gut, healthy eating, that they need some form of cleanse. They have gut inflammation. They have yeast. They have ye leaky gut. What is leaky gut? You're hearing it around, right? That's when particles of undigested food go back into the bloodstream. That's not good. Okay, there's a whole, a whole nother story around that. That causes inflammation. Parasites. All right, Juan. That's why you got to keep the good bacteria up in the body. So Frank Lipman's done a lot of work on this. Imbalanced digestion is a trigger to inflammation. That's why we have to concentrate on our digestive system. So you've heard that enzymes, probiotics, but it's also confusing, right? That's where health coaches come in. They kind of bridge the gap and they, they help you to understand all this information. But so the gut holds more bacteria, more bacteria than all the cells in our body. So we are mostly bacteria. And when that bacteria is out of balance and they can test for that, it's called dysbiosis. So just in case you're, you're understanding, you need, you need to understand what the terms are here. So the good thing, again, cod liver oil here is about three grams per, per, uh, per tablespoon. That's quite a bit. And uh, that cod liver oil, all right. You wanted to see me take a spoonful? It's not so bad. And a great chaser for it uh, is lemon, <laughs> like all fish. But basically just take it down. You get used to it right it tastes like fish pretty much but it's really great for you so you can get over it um turmeric ginger car ginger cardamom green vegetables radishes and vinegar what are all those about well they help break down the residue of the animal products in our body animal products hmm vegans don't eat animal products so now we're coming to some of the conclusion about why a vegan diet, again, not just because you might not want to eat animals for other reasons, but in the body, it's actually healthier. So here's this whole thing about the gut. So if you've heard about the elimination diet, it's necessary because you got to get rid of, uh, you got to get to the root of what's causing this. So that's when they're getting rid of the gluten and the wheat. And believe me, it's in way more things than you know. And you don't have to be celiac to have a sensitivity to it because it actually starts to destroy that uh, the lining, the villa in the intestinal wall, causing some of the leaky gut, causing the malabsorption. Oh my gosh. Okay, so lots of problems. No dairy, no egg, no soy. Getting rid of those things, helping the body to just, you know, get better. And then you have to replace with probiotics, enzymes, uh, increasing your stomach acid, especially if you're A type positive, A, A blood, A positive blood. Um, then you have to get good bacteria in there. You have to feed the bacteria. I know it's a whole like, it's a whole list. Fermented vegetables, sauerkraut. Yep, it's really good. I just thought it was something that like gross people throw on the hot dogs, but it's actually really good when you make it at home and it's super easy. So we can do a little video on that. And then you've got to repair the gut lining, which I've never done yet. So that's what I'm working on. I never properly repaired my gut before I kept adding foods. Glutamine is really good for healing. And so is bone broth. And I've been making bone broth and that's super easy to make as well. And that's on the list of what to eat and a lot of the sports teams. Why? Because the collagen factor too, and the healing and the high load of minerals, um, really great. So basically they say, here's the news. If you're breathing, you need to be on probiotics today. Okay. <laughs> so that's why, okay. Activia is not a probiotic. 
it's really not. It's not enough and very sugar. Uh, here's a couple of uh, acidophilus here. This one's really good. You'll get your kids to take this because it tastes pretty good. Um, of course, a physician, a functional physician is going to have high quality uh, medical grade probiotics, but you can actually do yourself some real good. There's some real good ones you can find at Whole Foods and Whole Body. So <clears throat> getting down to the sugar, we know sugar is horrible. It's so bad. Why? Well, it really is related to heart disease more closely than anything. It clogs the arteries. It makes the walls thinner. And inflammation from sugar, sugar spikes, and insulin spikes, it starts to destroy the endothelial lining of the arteries and the veins. That's no good. And even if you take any type of, you know, uh, items to help for vascular dilation, then if you're not, if you're not healing the endothelial lining, then you're not really going to get that far. So you really got to cut the sugar out. Plant foods are naturally anti-inflammatory. Okay. The greens, the greens that come back again, juicing. Why is juicing so amazing? It's because you're never going to eat that many greens in one big bowl. You, I'm never going to eat that many greens. So a quality vegan diet, you can see why that's actually life enhancing to the body, not just because vegans don't want to eat meat or animal products, but it turns off the disease producing cells and it turns on the healing genes. So here's some things, and then we're going to go to the cooking. Fatty fish, omega-3s, you baked and broiled uh, salmon, wild salmon, fish oil supplements we talked about. Whole grains, not the refined ones, not white bread, not wheat bread. You need unrefined, sprouted, sprouted quinoa, sprouted lentils. Well, lentils is a bean, but sprouted tricolor rice. I really like, um, Whole Foods has a lot of good brands. True Roots sprouted quinoa. Why am I saying sprouted? Because if you have any sensitivity in your gut, you definitely have to stay off the grains and you only can do the sprouted so just because of the way your body is taking it in. Uh, dark greens, spinach, kale, broccoli, collard greens, broccoli stems. I, I juice the broccoli raw and juice. Here's some juice that I made today. This was a whole mound of really amazing kale amazing collard greens, um, other type of uh, greens, parsley. We've got lemon in here, uh, the stalks of the broccoli. So, and it tastes amazing. The best time to have the juice first thing in the morning after your lemon shot or whatever you want to do or you, that has lemon in it, it goes right into your blood. It's amazing. This juicer over here works, been working for two years and I bring it through the mill pretty much. It works amazing. So a juicer is an amazing investment for you and your family. Nuts, another thing. High fiber, vitamin E, walnuts are amazing in omega-3s, uh, almonds too. Uh, but a quarter of a cup of walnuts, 2.7 grams of omega-3. Antioxidant rich food, naturally, they're gonna help the body repair the damage caused by inflammation. So, you know, all of the colored uh, fruits and vegetables, those are the, the thumbs up. So ginger root, cardamom, turmeric, soothes the intestinal tract, ginger root. What does ginger root look like? This is ginger root. Isn't it beautiful? It's amazing. Slice it up, put it with some turmeric in a, in a pan, cook it, add some mint to the hot water. You don't need to cook the mint, just add it. You can make a really yummy mint and ginger root tea. It's so good because mint actually helps you with any kind of bloating or like any type of uh, gas results from what you're eating. So it really helps the, the uh, system. Spices, garlic. All right, garlic we know is the super, super food. Curry, thyme, rosemary, basil, all real. Get your, get your spice garden. I've got to get mine going. Legumes, lentils, peas. So these are the legumes. Sparted, sprouted green lentils. Lentil soup is one of the easiest things to make. Like I said, cooking is super easy. You don't have to be a genius. You really just got to put things in and let them go. Like It's just really fun and creative. Uh, brown rice, steel cut oats. Again, the, um, the Red Hill steel cut oats. I love quinoa. No 
no gluten here. And this is an ancient grain, sustained energy. That's what the warriors needed. So if you consider yourself a warrior, you should be eating quinoa, getting rid of the other crap. Wild rice, the sugar spikes, you want it to be maintained. So these kind of grains, the, the unrefined grains, allow for constant energy, not the inflammation from the sugar spikes. Mushrooms, shiitake, uh, there's, a, there's some other ones. I'm not, uh, I couldn't pronounce some of them, but uh, also David Wolf, Google him. He does a lot of work on the mushrooms and he even has a mushroom like garden growing. And fruit, make sure it's organic. The berries are some of the best, blueberries, keep the low glycemic, uh, they're rich in flavonoids and carton, um, carotenoids and um, just get as many colors as possible to enhance what you have going on. So, so now we're going to, we're going to take a look at what we're cooking here and we're going to make, <clears throat> we're going to make an amazing uh, recipe with uh, salmon. So salmon's on sale right now at, uh, at the uh, fresh market. And I love fresh market because it's, it just is amazing. We're going to be doing one with lemons and capers, and we're going to be doing this one with uh, maple syrup. And it's a maple syrup garlic glaze. So we need, and I only use, of course, since I'm from Vermont, uh, State of Vermont Pure, Pure Liquid Gold right here. Maple syrup, we just need a quarter of a cup. We'll put this into the bowl. And then we're going to take one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. I just put a little less, like too much. And then I'm gonna add some Himalayan uh, garlic salt and some <clears throat> ground up black pepper. And we're gonna stir this. And I've already got some really great uh, garlic cloves. I like more than they say usually. So you just chop up some garlic cloves, make it nice and easy. And the extra garlic cloves you can uh, save for yourself. You do a little garlic shot. So this is a little bit coarse. <laughs> Just bring it down. Now cooking is super easy, but so what you want to invest in, you definitely want to invest in, hello, <laughs> you definitely want to invest in really good knives. I don't have a, um, a photographer, so we're, um, we're going with it here. Um, you want to invest in really good knives, really, uh, this is a really good, this one alone is $100, but it's worth it. You use it every day, you need this. So you need good knives, you need a good cutting board, and you need good pans to cook in and it's really worth it because you know you think about it you eat every single day so here's a pan um, these are really great you can get these containers it's a glass bottom with a storage top and uh, at uh, anywhere but they're really perfect because I'm gonna do the small one because I already have one cooked and you're gonna let this marinate actually in the refrigerator for a little while so just put this in and you're going to turn it over like this. So this goes into the refrigerator and then you bake it uh, for literally 20 minutes at 400 degrees. <laughs> this is so funny. 400 degrees and it is delicious. Okay, so let me just show you what it looks like when it's done. so we had the back up but it is just delicious so all of the the uh you know the sugar kind of melts but it's just a, this special touch of the sweet and the, and the um, salty mixed together it's delicious so then this other really easy one is made with lemon juice some wine and we're not we're not drinkers here so we have some wine. We're going to use it for cooking. So shine this down. And uh, we just 
I have this really awesome, I use this so much because I eat so many lemons and put them in things. But this is one of the most amazing lemon um, squeezers. So we have wine, we have lemon, we have some capers, we have rosemary. Um, I'll use a little bit of this uh, Himalayan salt. And you're just, we're just going to be putting it inside this foil and wrapping it up. And you can put the foil on the grill. You can put it on a uh, <clears throat> on a grill patty uh, on the in the oven. I mean it um, on top of the oven. So just put the uh, lemon juice over it. You just make like a little pouch here. Put the wine, and we're gonna put some capers. Put some of the caper juice. Okay. Papers, nice and easy. Um, I would rather use whole, uh, you know, real rosemary. I just don't have it. So if you have rosemary, it makes us fine. It's going to be a flavoring. Um, <clears throat> actually, uh, you could put some really good organic butter on top of this, or uh, just like a, you know, a little bit of the olive oil. Don't worry if you didn't put it on before or after. It all just kind of blends together anyway. So you just close this up, like seal it. Super easy. Like this. And you just make this pouch. And the pouch just simmers like that. So it's really cool. All right. So those are the two recipes. And a pairing, just so you know, I love uh, the yellow beets, and what I would do is uh, I would actually steam these for a little bit, get them soft, and then you, or you can roast them, and then uh, asparagus, delicious. So why does asparagus go really well with our little recipe here? So just let, to let you know, vitamin e, D needs to be absorbed better by the calcium. So the kale and the green vegetables, you can do kale with this too, really high in calcium, but the uh, the vitamin D nutrients in the uh, the fish then help you to absorb that. So that's why food combining is really amazing. So reach out to me, send me an email at uh, KimberlyK815 at gmail. We'll do a complimentary health history for you. But I hope you enjoyed this segment of In the Kitchen with KK on inflammation and super easy recipe for amazing wild salmon. It is not intimidating to cook in the kitchen. It's fun, it's messy, and it's yummy. Have a beautiful night.